Stop thinking of the Apple TV as just a streaming box. Stop thinking of it as a way to watch Netflix. Stop thinking of it as a boring black puck that sits under your television. In 2025, Apple is about to change the definition of what this device actually is. We are not looking at a simple spec bump. We are not looking at a slightly faster processor. We are looking at a complete philosophical shift in Apple's living room strategy. The next generation Apple TV 4K is shaping up to be a central intelligence hub, a device that merges console-grade gaming, advanced AI, and total smart home domination into one silent, powerful machine. If you thought the current Apple TV was good, you have no idea what is coming. To understand why this upgrade is so massive, you have to look at the competition. For years, the Apple TV was the king of the hill just by being smooth and reliable. But recently, the landscape has changed. You have the NVIDIA Shield with its AI upscaling. You have smart TVs from Samsung and LG getting faster and smarter. You have cloud gaming taking off. The dumb streaming box is dead. Apple knows this. That is why the 2025 model is rumored to be built around a piece of silicon that is frankly overkill for streaming movies. The A17 Pro chip. This is the same chip that powers the iPhone 15 Pro. It supports hardware accelerated ray tracing. It has a neural engine that can process billions of operations per second. Now, imagine taking that chip out of a phone where it is limited by tiny battery and heat constraints and putting it into a box that is plugged into the wall with proper cooling. You unlock a level of performance that we have never seen in a media device. This isn't just about loading YouTube faster. This is about turning the Apple TV into a legitimate gaming console. We're talking about playing Resident Evil, Death Stranding, and Assassin's Creed natively, with realistic lighting, shadows, and high frame rates. It puts the Apple TV in the same conversation as the Xbox Series S, but in a package that fits in your hand. But raw power is only half the story. The real revolution is happening in the brain. The 2025 Apple TV is expected to be the first device fully integrated with Apple intelligence for the living room. Siri is about to get a massive upgrade. No more dumb errors. No more I found this on the web. The new Siri will be conversational. It will understand context. You could ask, play that movie with the guy from the show I watched last week, and it will actually know what you mean. It will analyze your viewing habits, your mood, and the time of day to suggest content that actually fits. It shifts the device from being a passive player to an anticipatory assistant. This intelligence extends to the smart home. With the A17 Pro chip and upgraded support for thread and matter, the Apple TV becomes the ultimate command center. Your lights will turn on instantly. Your security cameras will load without buffering. The device will be able to analyze video feeds locally, detecting people, pets, or packages without sending data to the cloud. It becomes the privacy-focused brain of your entire house. And with the rumor of Wi-Fi 7 support, the connection issues that plague so many smart homes could finally disappear. Wi-Fi 7 offers multi-link operation, meaning lower latency and zero interference, even in a crowded apartment building. Visually, don't expect a radical redesign of the box itself. Apple likes the minimalist square, but underneath, we expect better thermal management to handle that powerful chip. We might see new colors, titanium silver or midnight black, to match the premium aesthetic of the iPhone and Mac. But the real hardware change might be in the remote. The Siri remote is great, but it can be better. Rumors point to a Find My Speaker built directly into the remote, so you never lose it in the couch cushions again. We might also see backlit buttons for movie nights and improved user switching capabilities that recognize whose hand is holding the remote. Software is where the magic happens. tvOS is rumored to get a dynamic overhaul. Instead of static rows of apps, imagine a living home screen that changes throughout the day. In the morning, it shows news and weather. In the evening, it shifts to movies and relaxation. It becomes a dashboard for your life. Integration with Apple Fitness Plus could go to the next level potentially using a connected iPhone or a new dedicated cam. RA accessory to track your form during workouts. Imagine your TV telling you to correct your posture in real time. That is the power of the A17 Pro's neural engine. 
gaming is a huge focus. With HDMI 2.1 support, we expect 120Hz output, variable refresh rate, VRR, and auto low latency mode. These are features that gamers demand. Combined with the A17 Pro, the Apple TV becomes a serious platform. And with rumors of a one terabyte storage model, you will actually have space to download those massive games without constantly deleting apps. There's also a fascinating rumor about a two-tier strategy. Apple might release a standard model for the average viewer who just wants Netflix and a pro model for the gamers and power users. This pro model would have the better chip, more storage, and better connectivity. It allows Apple to capture the budget market while still offering a beast of a machine for enthusiasts. So when can you buy it? The timeline points to late 2025 or early 2026. This aligns with the rollout of Apple intelligence features and the holiday shopping season. It gives developers time to optimize their games for the new chip. The 2025 Apple TV 4K is not just an update. It is a redefinition. It merges the console, the smart home hub, and the media player into one unified experience. It is fast, it is intelligent, and it is the future of the living room. My best opinion on this product. Honestly, I think the move to the A17 Pro chip is the most critical decision Apple has made for the living room in a decade. The Apple TV has always been overpowered for streaming, but underpowered for serious gaming. This chip bridges that gap. If they can actually get developers to port console quality games to the Apple TV, they can disrupt the console market from the bottom up. Not everyone wants to spend $500 on a PS5. But if a $199 Apple TV can play FIFA and Call of Duty competently, that is a game changer for families. Combine that with the AI features that actually make finding movies easier, and you have a device that feels indispensable. If you like this deep dive into the future of Apple TV, make sure you smash that subscribe button, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a leak. Thanks for watching.